I started traveling when I was really young. Those trips, they really just sparked something inside of me that made me want to keep traveling and seeing what's out there and discovering how much of the world is accessible. I had visited 39 countries and all seven continents. When I was two years old, my mom started noticing that I would take a few steps and then just fall down. And so she took me to the doctor and discovered that I had spinal muscular atrophy type two. Then by the age of four, I was using a powered wheelchair full time. It's pushed me to even do more than I would have if I was just able-bodied. There's this huge like misconception that wheelchair users are just staying at home because the world's inaccessible. I really want to just shatter that perception completely. I started Curb Free with Corey Lee in December of 2013. Of course, wanted people to visit the blog and read my information about accessible destinations, but I definitely never expected it to be as popular as it is today. It gives me the chance to really travel with other wheelchair users and make new friends. I think that's really valuable. I would say that Morocco is my favorite trip that I've ever done. It's really somewhere that I never particularly wanted to visit. But then the tour company reached out to me. They specialize in accessibility in Morocco. They asked if I would be interested in leading a group tour. I thought, I'm, I'm going to just go for it. Let's see what happens if anybody signs up. The tour was sold out within six hours of it going on sale. In 2018, we went to Casablanca, Fez, Marrakesh, and then out into the Sahara Desert and even rode a camel. Now made that an annual group trip. We visited places like Morocco, Iceland, Costa Rica, and we're going to Chile and Patagonia in South America very soon. I remember like being in a small town right outside of the Sahara Desert. And all of a sudden, this man came up to me and he was in a homemade wheelchair. He was amazed to see my powered wheelchair because he had never really seen anything like that. So it was really a humbling experience and made me, you know, realize how fortunate I am to live in a country that will buy my wheelchair for me. I was born in the year 1990, which was actually the year that the Americans with Disabilities Act was passed. There are a lot of great things that are happening in regards to accessibility within the U.S., but I think there's a lot of things that could drastically improve to give us a more accessible world. I can't even use a bathroom on a flight. I have to start dehydrating myself and stop eating about two days before I take a flight just to be able to do that. I am immunocompromised and travel is kind of my whole business and my whole life almost. So um, when the pandemic hit, I mean, it really took me for a whirlwind. I think the pandemic has definitely taught me to appreciate local trips and how much there is here in the U.S. Well, I think the greatest thing that travel gives us is empathy and just being able to, you know, learn about other cultures, meet new people from around the world. And I truly, really believe that if everyone in the world traveled, it would totally change the world and make the world a better place.